our weather forecast is somewhat less than promising. We're told to expect intermittent spells of heavy rain, which might very well impact on the quality of the football later. It'll certainly add a new dimension, especially for those players who like to keep hold of the ball. A few anxious faces, hoping it will all somehow stay away, but I have to tell you that, we are told, is an extremely unlikely scenario. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. The action has already started. Imbula has got himself a free kick. stroke it through tries to switch the play out to the left it goes Pass needed to be better than that and he knows it Auxerre were imperious when the two sides last met and the fans are asking for more of the same very little to choose between them but very early days should it go Denied brilliantly. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Plays it out to the wing. There are a few waiting for it. Just brushed off the ball there. Ball through needs to be good here. And the finish! Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Hoists it forward. Auxerre have a very fine defensive record over recent games. Clermont have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Shapes to shoot! Oh, the kick has done ever so well. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And that has been cleared. Puts it into the middle. And out it comes again. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Not long till half time, and it is still goalless. Plays it out to the flank. Cleared without complication. And he certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. He's had a crack. Oh, that's fabulous. Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy. On the cusp of half time, he delivers with perfect timing. And he's produced a beauty. Clermont Auvergne take the lead, 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. <laughs> and the first half is done. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But that still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game up to now. 
hasn't exactly gone the plan so far but there's no need to panic there's still plenty of time to get back into this as always an early goal would help swing things back in their favor and we're already back on the way here Oxir. going for goal oh fine stop from the keeper oh that's a sparkling save absolutely sparkling his reflexes were ultra sharp tried to play it through Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Across the field it goes. Come back to the keeper. Clermont Auvergne seek a performance here which reflects rather better on the boss. He's taken a fair amount of criticism in the wake of the last game. Yeah, but he brought the criticism upon himself by making substitutions that didn't really make sense. They added confusion when he really needed cohesion. Yeah, he's fouled him there. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. And he just whacks it away. Turns and goes back. Whipped in. Ozer are definitely going about this the right way. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Forward it goes. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's dealt with by the outrushing keeper. And it's played forward. Long ball, but not especially accurate. Hoists it forward. Auxerre are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Going through. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Attempts to play it through. It's anyone's ball. Clermont can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Oxer get it back again. Forward it goes. And that's that. Well, you can analyse to your heart's content. It won't change the outcome. They have lost the game. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Well, the way the manager...